Hi, design people. I just did get an invite for Kernel, your content co-pilot for Figma. So um, Kernel, I haven't tried it yet, so I will directly test it together with you. So it promises to design 10 times faster and you can add, I think, like variables to your design and then you can um, yeah, attach or connect images and numbers and text to it. And this comes from different sources. So you can connect OpenAI, which is like crazy, Notion, Airtable, CSV, JSON and Google Sheets. And then Kernel brings this together, maybe from different sources, I'm not sure and uh, yeah, bring it into the Figma designs. So it sounds really promising and yeah, let's test it. So now I opened the kernel play playground file and opened the plugin. And so we have two content libraries already. One is Spotify example and one is accounts. And the first thing that we should do here with a playground, playground file is to select the image and go into Spotify example. And then you see this database here. And this looks directly pretty cool. So I really like that you have this cards here with the different, uh, yeah, with the different informations that that is belonging together. So, and I should um, choose artist and then I can click on the image here, for example, and click artist name. And then I can click on the name. So, and you can do it here as well, like artist and album name. We don't have it here, or do we? No, no, album. It's a list of two, interesting. Ah, okay, you can even dig deeper into this. This is crazy. This is really cool. So name of the album, hopeless found, oh, this is really long, <laughs> what the hell? And okay, this should be an album image then. Okay, this makes sense. And this is not cropped perfectly, I think, but this is a problem of the file, not of the plugin. And artist name is here. Boom, there we have it. And then you would like truncate it or do something like this. So this is already pretty cool, but let's see what happens if I have like multiple files or multiple elements. And now I would like to do different artists. Is this possible? Artist. Okay, sort. Can I do a few configurations? No. Okay, let's see. Name. Okay, it's all the same. Hmm. So I would like to div diversify this if, if I have a list. Okay, let's see. Maybe I just go further here. Select this component and you can canvas. Go to components tab and kernel. Okay, let's see. Local components. Okay. Select this component in canvas. Hit add configuration in kernel. Add configuration. View configurations. Add configuration. Okay. Layers with blue pips next to them can be linked to data when selected. The content structure is listed on the right. Pick a field to link it to the elected layer. Name your configuration, hit save and you're done. So artist card is all right, I think. So artist name and now, like clicking on it, artist name and image. And now what happens now? Create configuration. Did it work? I don't know. Artist card. Okay, let's see. Please link at least one layer. I thought I did it. Linked layers. Or oh, is this the, ah, okay. This is the original component. So let's see, image and artist name. So this is linked, right? Artist card. I don't know. Artist name, name. Maybe I need to combine these. Name. Ah, okay. I think this is it. Name, image, image. And it even highlights the right things here. Ah, now we have the check mark. Okay, I was just too stupid. Try it, okay. Okay, <gasps> okay, cool. 
try it. Okay, nice. This is what I wanted. Perfect. Create configuration. Okay, let's see. Uh, and now, let's see, I delete this and I take a instance from this and now I create multiple ones and click here. No, artist card. Where can it be? Spotify, sort, apply all. Apply all, artist card three. Yes, yes, perfect. <laughs> this is so nice. This is so nice. Really cool. Okay, now I got it. Um, okay, and this was a playground file already. Okay, cool. But this is exactly what I wanted. So, uh, and you've seen you have like lists here and everything. You can um, dive deeper into the um, into the database. And uh, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. So next thing what I would like to do is create a new library and see what happens there. So now I want to create a database, an, an own database, and you can use Google Sheets, Notion, Airtable, JSON, CSV, Upload. And I want to try Notion because I think a lot of designers are using Notion and uh, I like to use Notion, so I want to test it. So click on add content. Now you get this here. And there's a little video which explains very well how this works. So you can just drag CSVs here, but you can create them with your, uh, with your Notion. So, and let's jump over to Notion. And I created this really tiny database here. So with a couple of games and let's see if the, if this works. So I will um, export now the markdown CSV and let's see if this works. Okay, I have the CSV now and now I will upload it. So it's uploading now. And now we see we have image, console and game. Tetris game by three records. Let's see if it works out. So publish to plugin. Data published to plugin. So now I want to jump into Figma and see if it worked. So now I'm back into Figma and we see this here, kernel database and like this crazy CSV name. Of course, I could have changed the name of it and then we would have a better, uh, better naming here. So I go into there and here we see directly the, the box arts which is really cool. And important is that you don't take your images and uploading them to, um, to Notion, but to enter a URL there. So, and now I have this game card um, prepared here. And I think if I learned it right, now I need to view configurations, add configuration game card. And now I click into this image and click on here. Now click on game title, um, click on here, platform. I have it like console here, but it doesn't matter. And create configuration. Game card. Yeah, let's leave it like this. Oh, oh okay, it, it's in a folder. Um, game card content. Okay, save. And now I would uh, create three instances from this and select them, go back, game card, apply all, and it works. So this is really, really, really amazing. I really love it. It's very easy to use. You don't need to have an API connected or something. You can just do it by yourself with Notion, with, uh, yeah, with the Google Sheets or whatever. So it's really easy to create something like this um, for your own. So I really love it. I'm not sure what happened to the OpenAI um, connection, but I think this will come soon. And I heard that you will have a team account. So if you're working in a team together on a, you know, in a um, company that is dealing with, I don't know, games or whatever, where you need some lists or you're selling like uh, shoes and you have images from your shoes and um, text, description text and whatever, and then you can uh, create this databases and fill the content directly into your designs. And it's really easy to use. I really love this plugin. It's really nice. 
and um, yeah, especially for e-commerce or whatever, like everything really, really cool. Or you have like complicated um, forms and you want to have uh, cool placeholder um, placeholder information like name and address and country of people or something like this. You could create your own database. And um, yeah, since this is based on CSV, you could create like really cool CSV content and share them with the community and other people could just import them. So if, uh, yeah, if we are later just sharing the CSV um, stuff, which with each other, then we would have like the craziest databases. And it's really like, yeah, like an open source idea behind this because we can just share it. I really like this. It's going in a very good direction. And I think it's the best content plugin that I tried out in, in Figma because there are some like content reel and whatever. There are different ones, but I think this is the easiest to understand and easiest to use. And you can just take different data types. And I think this is really powerful. Like you have this JSON, you can take JSON files or CSV and later more will come. So really nice.